Hello and welcome to the JK Feather Ranch channel. Today we're filming the intro to a video we've already recorded. But if we hadn't, we'd be taking this teardrop trailer here and this Bolt EUV here to the Trona Pinnacles near Death Valley as a performance and range test for a couple of longer trips we're planning on taking next year. Now you may notice that this is not the same bolt you've seen in previous videos. The reason for that is because shortly after filming those, we were on a trip up to Northern California when this happened. Yeah, that was fun. So uh, anyways, let's pretend we haven't already taken this trip and let's get going. Yay! off. This is my wife's car, so she's going to be doing the driving today. How does it feel, Jess? It's a little sluggish, but not too bad. How's the uh, weight feel? Are the airbags helping? I think. Does it feel like you're being uh, pushed towards the ground? Are you unable to handle? No. Okay. Then uh, I think that's a success. Breaking. Not too terribly different, actually. All right, that's what you get when you have regen and regular brakes. And here we are at our first stop of the day because I'm interested to find out how much we weigh. Got our weigh ticket. What's it say? Forty-eight hundred in the car, seventeen sixty in the trailer. Some of that is tongue weight, so I think we're towing about nineteen hundred to two thousand pounds. Since I'm editing this part after we got back, I know that things didn't exactly work out as planned. Our first stop will be at the Electrify America in Hesperia, California. We weren't quite ready to charge yet, but there's a whole lot of nothing between there and the next stop at Brady's Market in Inyokern. Of the other two chargers near there, one hasn't worked for months, and the other is for Rivians only. From there, it's just a short distance to the Pinnacles, where we'll be camping for the night. Originally, the plan was to make it all the way back to the rest stop in Boron, where the state of California has installed a charger, but because the weather was so bad, we didn't risk it and went back to Brady's instead. From there, we got just enough to get to Boron, and our last stop was at a gas station in Victorville, where we didn't have to unhook our trailer. Now, this is our first time uh, towing this trailer with this car, and our safety chains are a little short, so... After a quick trip to Home Depot, we are attempting to fix that. That's a lot better. Yeah. Hey Google. Navigate to Electrify America in Hesperia, California. Hey Google, your speech recognition doesn't work.
this sucks. We can barely see anything. At least it's good for our efficiency to go nice and slow. But I don't really want to drive any faster than this. Right once now. we get into, uh, once we get over the pass and into the desert, it should stop raining. Yeah. Everyone's got their hazards on. <laughs> hazards. Hazards. Especially because we are towing something. <laughs> Visibility right now is worse than it would be if it was pouring, honestly. Yeah. Trona, California weather. Oh. Low chance of precipitation tonight. So we should okay. be fine. It's Death Valley for a reason. <laughs> rain every time I go to Death Valley. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Swear. Every time I go to Death Valley, it <laughs> fucking rains. This is only the second time? Yes. <laughs> I love you. I don't know. Every <laughs> time it rains. Hopefully it's not as bad as... Last time it was pouring, right? Yes. It was, it was going sideways. <laughs> Yeah, that's not supposed to happen this time. Yeah. No, it was raining really hard. <laughs> Dense fog, low visibility. <laughs> we are. Why is that sign there when the fog is clearing? <laughs> oh, I know why. Because you couldn't see the sign in the fog. That's why. <laughs> Faster than a semi truck. That's what really matters. It doesn't have the giddy up that I normally have. What do you That's mean? That's all. When I want to accelerate up the hill, I just push it and it goes. Well, you're kind of towing a yeah. trailer up a hill. No, it's, it's doing it, it's just not doing it as strong as it always Got is. It. But look, I'm increasing. Yeah, no, you are. Hmm. And you're not revving the <laughs> out of it like you'd have to in the truck or the Xterra. it and see what it does. It's going. It's not bad. No, it went up to 102 and now it's not. It's going down. Are you flooring it? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. I don't need to floor it. Oh, okay. It the went up to 102 and then instantly went down again. Because you took your foot off or? No. Oh, it did it on its own? Yeah. Huh. I didn't continue because I don't need to go uh, much faster. I wonder if that's a traction control or something doing its thing. Maybe. No, it did it though. It did it just fine. Yep. No, 
I'm going 57 and I'm using 52. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> the road is dry and you can see. Yeah, I obviously didn't want to go hard in those. I understand. Oh, uh, 59. Well, that, uh, that seemed pretty effortless. 60. And we are at the top. Own summit. Elevation 4,190. At the top. And I'm pretty there sure San Bernardino's like under a thousand. And we went up from there nonstop. Yeah. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Auto parts. Bam! Oh, shit. Oh, are the Electrify Americas under the solar panels? I think they might be. Oh, no, they're right there. And there's two over there. Hopefully one of them is accessible. Or we ditch the trailer. No, hopefully they're not all being used. Oh, yeah. We'll obviously just have to ditch the trailer, though. Or we go to a... Yeah, but, uh... You want to ditch the trailer? Let's see how, uh... There's two more in front, too. Oh, oh there's ow. a lot of them. There's, like, six and then two more. There's, like, eight of them. Okay. So we should be... But we will have to. Because uh, we can't pull in from this side, can we? No, we can't pull through. No, okay. So we'll ditch the trailer right here. Yeah, News Coulomb is right. We need a yeah. pull through parking. Here, tell me if I'm good. I gotta go outside. Yeah. We're here at the Electrify Walmart in Hesperia, California. I didn't do any filming when we got here because there was a guy with an ID4 parked over here that we were talking to. Uh, we only had to move spots once. We arrived with 58%. Uh, we're now at 89% and I figured we'd need about 80, which I said would take 30 minutes, but my wife's shopping habits mean we stayed here for 50. So we're going to unplug and be on our way again. This would be the turn off to Boron. Yes. I think. 20 Mule Team Road, it has That's to it, be. Yeah. Boron, yep. Let's 
so 57 miles to uh, the next charger from here. Yeah. We absolutely don't need to charge yet. No. We're barely below a fourth. Yeah. Um, is there charging here? No, we'd have okay. to go. It's a few miles up the freeway to the rest area. Okay, but not bad. Not bad. Okay. Less than five. Okay. how well you can see this uh, it definitely seems like we were previously going downhill and now we're going back up as the range was at 180 then 170 and then all of a sudden it dropped to 120 and now has been plummeting ever since but we're only 40 miles away from our next charging stop and the better route planner said we'd make it there with 27 percent so everything should be fine but as you'll see, it did just drop from 105 to 104 while I've been talking and filming this. So as we've been sitting here slowly watching our range decrease... Not so slowly. I checked the uh, Windy app, taking a suggestion from uh, Out of Specs videos that I was watching before, and it does look like we have a direct crosswind, so that's not going to be very good for us. But we do still have 89 miles on the guessimeter and 38 miles to the next charging stop. So we should be fine, although we did slow down a bit and set the cruise control to 60. See you in 38 miles. Probably. <laughs> it's the only thing that's around, so. Looks like we're gonna be going there because that's the only civilization around, but they have chargers. Oh, I see it. Yep, charge one. Just a random mini mart and a gas station in the middle of the desert with two charge point chargers. Just pull up sideways, honestly, to the second one, <laughs> or to the first one. First one. Yeah. So here we are at the uh, charge point station at a really old, but open mini mark. Uh, we got here with 23%, it said. We're up to 24%, drawing 52 kilowatts. 
Our original plan was to barbecue hot dogs, but with all this wind, I'm not sure the barbecue's even gonna stay lit. So we're gonna go in the mini mart and see what we can do. And by the way, just so you know, this charger is a little bit on the expensive side, but the $500 of EVgo credit we got from GM for buying this bolt does work at charge point station. So this is free for us. Plan was to use this picnic table, but uh, it's incredibly windy and we watched this happen right as we got here. Yes. Now, since we've got at least an hour to charge here, because we're gonna need this to uh, drive home tomorrow too, we brought some food. I want to close it. Our original plan was to use the picnic table, but since it's, since it's extremely windy, we had to make a sort of windbreak and improvise. So we are now on our way to the Trona Pinnacles, away from the uh, Chargers. We stayed there and made some hot dogs and charged to about 92, 93%. So our plan is to get there, explore a bit, set up camp, uh, use the car and our inverter overnight to heat our trailer. And then in the morning, we will head out to the Boron rest area about 55 to 60 miles away and we should have enough charge for all of that.
finally got our camp set up, uh, moved from our original location because of the wind, and we're finally cooking dinner. Uh, we're gonna have soup and steak, and we are relaxing in front of the heater. Do you have anything to add? It is now the next day. Uh, this place is really cool looking, but unfortunately it was incredibly windy and it started raining. So we didn't get a chance to uh, do as much exploring as we wanted to or cook our food the way we wanted to. Uh, we're about to leave, but uh, we haven't had breakfast yet. That's not something that a couple of knockoff frappuccinos, some Milano cookies, and some chocolate covered donuts can't fix. So we are back on pavement again, and it's about 60 miles to the Boron rest area. The car claims, now claims we have 88 miles. It said we had 111 when we started, but we are driving directly into the wind. So I don't trust it at all that we're gonna make it. And a better route planner just updated itself and said that we're not gonna make it. So we're gonna go back to the Brady's Market we charged at before, just to get a little bit of power there, uh, probably until it tapers off at like 55% or so, and then we'll go to the Boron Rest Area, charge there again until it gets to 55% or so, and then we can go back to Hesperia and have a nice long charge while we eat dinner, or we may not even need to because from there all the way home is pretty much entirely downhill. There's a Denny's right here. We've charged at a Denny's before. It's a perfect place to charge and eat. Why can't they just put a charger here? Why do we have to drive 15 miles further to a random mini mart to find a charger? You go out and get it? Yeah. Just wandering around? What's this? You good? Tell them what you got. <sighs> Tell them what you got. Little guy. Hi. Is this what we do? We go on trips and collect kittens? <coughs> <coughs> Is that what we do? Can you tell everyone what you got for the video? Oh, I got a new little friend. Can you tell them what happened? Because I wasn't filming. I drove by and saw this on the side of the road about 300 feet back. And so we stopped and I ran and got it. And now we have a friend. Well, I guess we had to go out of the way and charge at Brady's because otherwise we would not have found this. This is my traveling companion now. Say hi to the kitty. I just plugged in at the uh, charge point charger at Brady's Market again. Uh, as you can probably see, it is raining slightly. We're gonna stay in the car with the heat on to keep the little kitty warm. Uh, it's 64 miles to the rest area in Boron. We're currently pulling 49 kilowatts at maybe 30, 35%. Probably gonna stay till like 60 just to make sure we can make it. And uh, then we'll be off again. We turned on the heater and look at the sleepy little kitty. He 
would be getting rained on right now. That's a lot of solar panels. They just keep going. They do. Here it looks like they're putting in some more solar panels. Uh, not sure how well it's going to come out in the video, but those are big uh, metal poles attached to feet that it looks like the solar panels attach to and then rotate to track the wind. And more are on this side. You can probably see those better. We have arrived at the boron rest area. Uh, that's a charger, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Big white box. Mm -hmm. I don't see anyone using it. only one and it is unoccupied perfect we shouldn't have to disconnect for that or maybe we do just pull in like this and if someone comes by it's a problem then we can disconnect the trailer I think we might be out because it goes back to here Oh, okay. I'll go look at how we are. I think we're out of the road. Take something or someone. someone. Oh, he's out. <laughs> we are here now at the Boron Rest Area. A better route planner said we'd get here with approximately 27%. Uh, when we pulled in, the charger actually said we were at 20% probably because of the uh, rain we had increasing rolling resistance. Uh, we also had to use the heater a little bit more to keep the cat warm and to keep the windshield defrosted. Right now we're charging at 38 kilowatts. Not the fastest, but it is a free charge. So we're just gonna sit here in the warm car and let it charge. Now, can we get out of here? Just turn all the way. Just. Plenty of space. Leaving the rest stop, uh, when we both went to the bathroom, we ended up making it to 66% before disconnecting. That is plenty to get to Hesperia and we will charge somewhere there. Depending on whether or not it's raining, we'll probably determine whether we either go to the same Electrify America we did before or somewhere else where we do not have to disconnect the trailer because that's gonna be a huge pain when it's raining. And we also wanna get ourselves some food at the Golden Corral. at a charge point station at a Chevron station because uh, we saw on plug share that we could reach the thing without disconnecting the trailer. We are one exit away from the Electrify America we used the first time we came here, but uh, I figured we'd just use this one since it's raining and I really don't want to unhook the trailer. The car's at about 50%. I'm gonna wait for 
a few more percentage before we leave. How's the cat holding up? How's the kitty holding up? We made it to 55%. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the charge. If I can press this damn thing. Can you stop it from inside the car? How did you get to that screen before? Okay. We had to stop it from the car because the charger wouldn't let us stop. Let's unhook and get going. We are finally leaving after a good meal. Uh, as you probably just saw, a better root planner predicts we'll get home with 14%. It is, we do have 51% battery left and it is almost entirely downhill. So I don't see any reason to not believe that. The rain has mostly let up. It's just dark outside, so there's no point to filming, but let's get going. I'll let you know how we did when we get home or if we had to stop and charge one more time. Well, it's late, it's cold, it's still raining, but we finally made it home. My wife's already brought some things inside, including the kitten, and uh, a better root planner said we'd get home with 14%. We actually made it with 16%, and I'm about to plug in and go inside. Uh, that concludes our trip. I will probably film an intro later with some more information, but if I don't, uh, be sure to comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.